Five minute warning. And it's the Dockers back in front since early in the third quarter for the first time since early in the third quarter. They lead by five. Here we go. Simmons back in the ruck. Delenio might go all the way himself, decides to kick it and beautifully passes it to Brown, who's well within range. Made the difference. Simmons in the ruck and Delenio being brilliant at ground level. Thought he was going to run all the way and kick a goal for a minute, Delenio. Yeah, so did I. He'll do that at some stage. Nathan Brown. The veterans kick two, both in the third quarter. This to put the Tigers back in front. Hooked it. Frio by four. What a contest it's been. It has at time looked like two of the bottom teams in the competition, but boy. They are both desperate for victory. Pavlich and Sandilands, two pretty safe targets. And they haven't quite got it out of trouble yet. The desperation shown from Foley and Solomon just says, I've had enough of that. Well, a couple of tough nuts there, Solomon and Foley. Foley's been really good. 26 disposals for Nathan Foley. It's yeah. been a bizarre game, boys. What about a draw? Oh, no, we've got to get a result. Someone's got to be happy. Free kick to Sandilands. And Duffield's been able to get away here and create the Lucy over the top. Johnson with his languid running style will take Fremantle. Beyond the 50, Hazelby's been dangerous as a target. He could have got a number of free kicks and hasn't. He's flat out. Fremantle have never played in a draw, have they? In their short history. Of course, there was that mysterious game down in Tassie against the Saints. Siren Gate. This yeah. is young Foster. Good ruck work again. Solomon got it up. Tarrant trying his best. Polo. Ibbotson waiting. The ball happens to roll out. Simmons dangerously into the open. But Ooh. Tigers need to show some aggression and initiative. Jackson. Tough for Newman. They got the man out the back. They needed to get it to him. And they did more around the corner. Polo, but they're not out of trouble yet. Fremantle circling inside the last five minutes. They lead by four. Mark Harvey, the coaches, they're working overtime. There's Tarrant in picture, made a big difference going forward. Tarrant's 20 disposals is the most he's had in over a year of oh. AFL football. Sandilands just dominating the hitouts, but the Tigers get the football. Cousins, ball hands up in the hands of Newman. Naha, sweeping handball to Pettifer wasn't great, but good hands from Pettifer. Back to Nahas. Now the Tigers matter at Mountain Attack. They're four points down. Revolt marks it half forward and goes. Revolt kicks it long. Brown's loose in the goal square. He sets himself. Oh, oh it's not through. Great spoil by Grover. Beautifully yeah. done by Grover. He's hurt himself. Just managed to get fist to the footy. Didn't, didn't give away the free kick. That is a very tough situation for a defender to be in because it's so easy to give away a free kick. Might be happy if I was Mark Harvey with that spoil. It is Fremantle by three points. Again to Sandilands, Pavlich in the boundary and Duffield. Tigers up to it. Jackson slaps it back. Hayes will be cramping badly in the calves. He's on the boundary line receiving treatment, desperate to get back on. Oh, they are just about out, Fremantle, in terms of their players available. But they are in front. That's the most important thing for the moment, at least. Collins knew where Cousins was. Cousins gets bundled over by Ibbotson. Oh, look at those Docker supporters, happy to see him driven into the ground. <laughs> They're not related to the Carr brothers, are they? <laughs> 109 to 112. Fremantle in front. Sandilands trying to get it down to Pavlich. Shammer sneaks away, but is run down. Umpire letting it go. Let them play. That's in the back there. Now, the worry is what Shama and that's not. <laughs> Subin's got <laughs> Subin. now. They, they can barely move Fremantle. Wow. He's a lovely left foot kick, this kid. And a beautiful kick it was, too. It's marked out there by Josh Head. What will the Dockers do? Richmond have got to get tight here for a start, don't they? Yeah, they've got to man up. They yeah. get the ball back. Uh, the Dockers have got to be thinking to kick the next goal, not save. Fremantle by three. Oh, gee, Shammer coming off with blood streaming from the head. 
What a bizarre match we've had. In the pocket, peak. Now, did he have it? Holding the ball, free kick to Richmond. I tell you, Hazel, we can hardly run, but he has to come on. So, Shammer's off, and he'll be off for a couple of minutes, you reckon, with that uh, gash on the head. There's probably only a couple of minutes left in the match, so an opportunity here for the Tigers. Cochin down to the bare bones, Fremantle. Cochin on and immediately gets a possession. Kicks to Foley, wants to play on. Goes to the wing to Newman. So this is the big build-up for the Tigers. Joel Bowden's run from behind. Here goes the veteran. Over the top to Cochin, who usually uses it well. He kicks to the pocket. Good pass! Morton! He plays on to improve the angle. He's kicked the goal. Richmond in front at Subiaco. There's Mitch Morton. He didn't let the coach down that time. And he played and on. And he played on. <laughs> the kid will never lose. At least he did something, <laughs> Melzi. He did do something. I'll tell you, I'll tell you who did something. It was Joel Bowden, who ran 60, 70 metres from the half-back line to get to the wing to help out. He received the handball, set it up to Cochin. I think every Richmond person thought once Cochin's got it, something good will happen. And Morton got the footy and in a pressure situation played on in the hope of kicking the winning goal like he did against Port Adelaide a month ago. Put it out of bounds on the full. And it's a great game, isn't it? Oh, don't you just love AFL footy? It is a great game. <laughs> And don't you just hate being a coach in moments like this. It ain't over yet, folks. Still time to go for Fremantle. Jackson, Tigers with a full head of steam. Can they control it? Collins arches the back. Oh, he ran out of legs. He had nowhere to go. Advantage paid. And Fremantle take that advantage. Pete could have got a free. Played for it. And the umpire got fooled, I reckon. There was some initial contact. Got to so get maybe fair Tigers. enough. Richmond players just have to stream downfield. Gee, the corridor's open with Docker players. With the centering ball, this is Broughton. He's almost within range. He goes for the pass instead. Hazel be on about half a leg. Couldn't get there. And the ball is over now. 31 minutes in the final Big spoil term, for Newman. Yeah, and uh, not a great option because uh, the kick to Hazelby. Hazelby was covered. Cousins wants to come back on, so too Byron Shammer. Richmond, no one in their front half. Oh, Sandler's just grabs it out of the ruck, but his handle went to Tambling, who got it to Newman. He had no one. Oh, oh, it's deliberate from Tuck. He had no one to go to, and the field umpires. Oh, he sits for Shammer. Oh, the field umpire, I tell you what, the field umpire was he looking for a the field umpire. <laughs> he said, I don't want to make a decision. He thought about it for about 30 seconds. And so he didn't. Who is he? <laughs> it's the Tigers by three points. Jeff Sandilands knocks it towards Mundy. Last roll of the dice coming up for Fremantle into the pocket. It's a Tigers mark though to Revolt who says slow it down. He goes across goal and it's marked by Pettifer. Who's got tambling ahead of him. These are very nervous moments for Richmond fans as the ball hangs in the air. The tummies are tightening around Australia. Richmond lead by three. They are trying to hang on for dear life. There's still time for three. Or maybe there is. Or maybe there is. Dodd goes short as he can. Get and the mark the is taken there. by Broughton. Pavlich or Sanderlands. Who will it be? Headland flies. A moment there. They come from all points. And the umpire calls for a bounce, and we've almost hit 33 minutes. Surely the siren's got to go soon, Stephen. So down she goes. 36 players within 30 metres of the ball. 30 metres out from the Dockers' goal. Revolt. Throws oh. it on the left. It's on the full. It's on the full, but it's too far out. Score. Too far out, so they have to go short to Monday. Play on, not 15. He hasn't heard the call. It's over. Richmond have won it. What a remarkable game of football. There's the shot. <laughs> the Tigers have got home by.